This is Kim Meyer, host of Choose to Rise. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Do you need some extra motivation in your life? Are you looking to be inspired? If so, then look no further than the Good God Company. At the Good God Company, their mission is to create and clothe all loving humans with their unique, inspiring, and beautifully designed t-shirts. All of the products from the Good God Company are equally designed to motivate you and improve your life. From their mugs, workout tanks, to eye-appealing shirts and sweatshirts. Learn more about their renowned products by visiting thegoodgodcompany.com. That's thegoodgodcompany.com. The Good God Company is proud to support public house media. The The Good Good God God Company. Company. I'm I'm feeling feeling good. good. This is Rachel Mullins, host of Hashtag No Filter Friday here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my new show, Hashtag No Filter Friday, where we talk about all of the sexual misconduct allegations swirling around Hollywood. A new show drops every Friday at 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you'll never miss an episode of Hashtag No Filter Friday. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Episode is Keith pulls an audible because I pulled an audible. Keith, Katie is ready to go home and make yummy chocolate dessert. And she was at work all day. We were both at work all day. We work all day. She's got her Cubs hat on. She's got, got the ring. She's got, got the, the ring. ID. Got the ID. She <coughs> she was ready. She was ready to go home. I did four chores today. That so that means every two hours I was either leading or following a chore. A tour is about a mile long. So at the end of the day, yeah. I am ready to go home and make the dessert that we told people we make. Well, we are not making the dessert because I was at work and Kate owes me dessert. <laughs> I was at work and a friend of mine stops by my desk and he says, Keith, we need you to play softball tonight because we don't have enough people. I don't play softball, I'm no good at softball. Uh, I, I, you scored today. I did score today. I did better than I thought I ever would. I I got two. I got two hits. Um, that's that's incredible for me because I can't hit a ball to save my life. Anyways, so my friend says Keith, we need you to play softball tonight. So I uh, texted Katie when she was uh, when she was following during a tour, and uh, she got back to me eventually. I said, hey, I said change of plans. I said. We're, I'm going to play softball tonight. We'll be done in time for the show, but uh, you should come to the Diamond with me and uh, potentially be a sub for us because it's a co-ed league. We need men and women to play, and uh, Katie was a, a sub, but she never ended up playing. To show you where we are, uh, well, right now, you see the background. We are in the most Chicago place you can be. Yeah. Right in front of us, everyone's playing softball, 16-inch softball. And behind us, we've got the L, and that's gonna interrupt us. Yeah, we got the every five minutes. L train, the subway, uh, the elevated, the elevated train, elevated the train. L. Yeah. So, um, so that's our setting. So we are not making yummy brownies for you today. And Keith says, "Oh, we can make that next time." And I said, "No, no, they are being David. made tonight, whether someone is watching or not." <laughs> David, thank you for joining us. What position did I play? Um, I played left field. Yes. Um, so, uh, the, the interesting thing about 16 is softball, and we'll get into that, and we'll go get into the complexities of the game right now. You don't play 16-inch softball with a glove. It's a bigger ball. It's a softer ball, so you play with your hands. Um, the, the girls are allowed to use a glove if they'd like. Uh, so that is something that you really don't see many other places other than Chicago. I never heard of it until... I uh, until I moved to Chicago. The first time I ever played 16 in softball, it was for the uh, it was for the the, the website that I uh, used to write for. Chicago now. 
Chicago Now. It's still a great site. Um, and they said, hey, we're... At, yeah, 16 inch softball, this one. They said, hey, so we're going to play uh, at 16 inch softball, though. Uh, and I'm like, okay, and I'll show up. And I brought a glove with, but I kept it in my bag because I wasn't sure of protocol. So when I got there and I saw everybody just playing catch with their normal hands, I didn't embarrass myself by taking out the glove, and I knew to never do that again. David says, yeah, I, played, I played a lot of that. Where did you play? Did you play in Milwaukee? Did you like... They have it in Milwaukee? Maybe it's a bigger city. Maybe it's just a, a bigger, bigger city, city thing. Play. You know, because not everybody has... A, you know, not everyone has a glove, I guess. You know? Yeah. I don't know. And uh, yeah. You're good, so yeah. So it's slow pitch, high pitch in the underhand. Air. Underhand. Uh, the plate, the home plate is extended. So if you watch a pitch go past, the ball has to hit home plate in order for it to be a strike. There's another subway right there. This is a show about yeah. The ball has to hit the home plate to be a stri- to be a strike. So therefore, the home plate is extended a little bit by a mat. Uh, an orange mat that you can see. So, just played a couple of times in college. No league, sadly. I got you. So, yeah, it has to hit home plate in order for it to be a strike because it's a high arcing pitch. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> um, and it's weird. In order for the game to go faster, it's it's still it's still four balls and three strikes, but you already start out with a ball and a strike. So why don't you just have two strikes and three balls? Because I think people would be confused if they're like, all right, three balls, walk to first base. Because it's, so. it's not confusing when I just yeah. get up to the plate and yeah. say ball two. That's right. not confusing <laughs> at all. So you already start out with a ball and a a ball and a strike, still four balls and three strikes, but you're only playing three balls and two strikes. Uh, so that's conf- that, that can be confusing. Um, so let's see. Oh, and, and another big thing for 16 in softball: there are ten, there are ten, ten <laughs> outfielder. My arm is getting sore. Ten this there are ten people in the field. Ten people on the field. You have your Six people in the infield, your normal first, second, third, shortstop, pitcher, catcher. Um, and then in the outfield, you have like a left fielder, a right fielder, and then you have someone playing left and right center, pretty much. So you have four people in the outfield, six people in the infield. Two balls, uh, three balls, two strikes. Ten fielders, no gloves. That's about that's about the name of the game. So that's why we're here today. I'll show you show you the uh, the beautiful stadium again. This is the ugliest field I have ever seen. It's all turf. I think it's an ugly. I think it looks it's great. Hideous. I think it looks great. That, that red in the in the infield. Just Look at this. You have a beautiful you have a beautiful it's setting here. It, like Katie said, it's very it's very Chicago. You got you got like a gothic looking building. This is on DePaul's campus. You have a, like a gothic looking building right there. I think it's like a dining hall. And then you have the dorms right there. And this is actually the field where DePaul uh, soccer plays. And it doubles as a softball diamond. Yeah, and it doubles as a softball diamond. So they put a uh, portable fence around, and they play and they play women's softball here too. And the infield is reddish brown. Yeah, it just looks like just looks like an infield. You can't play infield on turf. Sure, you can. Oh. You're like one of those people that said that you can't play baseball at Wrigley with lights. So. Chicago Federals first 
This is the site. This is where the Chicago Federals played their first season. Interesting. Didn't know that. Yep. Okay. Well, the man has been on three of my tours. And it's just funny. Well, I knew they played elsewhere, but I didn't know this was the place. You see the kind of support I get at home. <laughs> yeah. I, you, you just said I've been on your tour three times. He's been on my tour three times, but he doesn't support me. He doesn't pay attention at all. Um, and uh, another interesting fact, we won today. So, right. oh, you yeah. won. Uh, David says, I would wreck that right field fence. <laughs> right field fence. Actually, there's not much of a fence. If you can see that, not much of a fence. Uh, and if you hit it far enough, it's just going to ricochet right off of that brick wall there. Yeah. So... Um, that is the reason why we're not making brownies today. That's why not brownies, we are. They're chocolate we are. marshmallow They're bars. chocolate marshmallow bars. Which I will make when we get home. Because I have been craving them. So, that, that's why we're not doing that. I had to call an audible because I wanted to play softball today. And Katie was, on, Katie was in the dugout. She was ready to go. I was. She was ready to step up if the team needed her. So, whoever designed this place, in addition to putting hideous down. In the dugout, there's a there's a fence in front of the dugout. Of course, the ball doesn't get hit in your face. Yeah. But there's right a over there. bar. There's a bar in the middle. Like most fences have a, a bar. Yeah. You know, a support in the middle. Uh, and this one is at eye level. Not so, just for me, but for you too. It's, it's, it's not. A little hard. Not just it's my a, height. It's a little hard to see. It's impossible. Through you there. can't see anything. I think it's a beautiful facility and Katie can't do anything but complain about it. I don't like it. I think it looks great. I don't like it. I think it's All right. pretty. Beautiful setting. Alright. So, that's, so. The, that's the bulk of our show. Usually, at this time, we would do uh, NFL or NBA or humiliate Katie. Yes. However... We are going to do something tonight that we haven't done in quite time. You know what? Somebody, somebody just hit the ball. Oh, I thought I thought I was gonna have to run and get a new. I thought I was gonna have. I thought I was gonna have to run and get it their ball for them because they just hit it out into the stands. But they have another. One. Anyways, we usually be doing NFL or NBA, but we're going to do something new, <laughs> something we've never done before. Something we've been contemplating, though. Yeah, but uh, I figured, hey, this would be a good time to do it. And just go ahead. This is Gorilla Play-By-Play. -play. So, so Keith is an excellent play-by-play -play guy. I'm not that excellent. He is excellent. And I say stupid things about sports. And so we thought I could be the terrible color commentator. You could do play by play. Yep. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, so uh, we're going to do gorilla play by play for we're gonna switch play the camera play. around. Yes. And we are going to call this sixteen inch softball game uh, for a little bit. For a little bit. See how it goes. Yep. We know absolutely nothing about these people yep. or the teams that they are or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, hence, hence Gorilla play by play. We're showing up and we're doing a play by play broadcast. Yes. Are we ready? Ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, all right. All right, folks. So we're joining you in the middle of our broadcast. We have a girl on second and a girl on first as Blue Shorts steps to the plate. Takes a swing lined over to short to third and got the force out at third. That is one out in this top or bottom of the inning. We're not sure. We don't know. We don't know because we've been doing this show. Yes. But. Uh, and the pitcher doesn't come out. It, the, the pitcher is the same. Ball looked at inside for ball two. Remember... That is the first pitch, but that's ball two because they start out with a ball and a strike already. Yeah. The delivery, and that is over the plate for ball three. Count now stands at three and one. Girl at second, man on first. The pitch swung on, and it is through. Short into center field. The relay home. It's a high arcing ball. It's not going to get there. 
and the team with the guy with the blue shorts has a run, making the score 75 to 70. Yeah. We don't know the score. Exactly, we don't. Know. <laughs> I am wondering if the the two men in the black shirts are brothers or related. Pitch swung on and lined into left field over the head. One run will score, two runs will score, and that is a stand-up double, making the score once again. We don't know for the team with the guy with the blue shorts. Yeah. That is what we're calling Way to go, blue shorts. Way the, to go. The team with the guy in the black shirt pitching is not doing well right now. No, and the black shirt shortstop is very unhappy. Yeah. Swung on and pitched line into right field. That's going to end oh, over the over, over the fence. Fence. That's a ground rule double. I don't know if I've ever seen a ground rule double before in co-ed softball. That's that a, is a, over the fence is a ground rule double? Well, it bounced and then it went over the fence, so it's a ground rule double. I don't oh. know if I've ever seen. Uh, David, that guy almost wrecked that right field fence, dude. Yeah. Almost. All right. All right, let's go, let's go. So after that, man Same on second, and the pitch swung in. on, popped up, and that is also going to go in to the crowd. And they are running out of balls to play. I think I'm going to have to go in. Oh, there's somebody over there now. I thought I was going to have to run and get them. You just want okay. to. Well, I didn't see that guy over there. They are losing balls left and right in this game. All right, we're going to do this gorilla play-by-play for two more batters here. Two more batters. Oh, oh I thought the batter wasn't looking, but he was throwing it to the umpire. The team with the man in the blue shorts is doing outstanding right now. Still yes. up to bat. Yes. The delivery. Swung on, popped up into shallow left, and it drops over the head of the left fielder as he brings it back into the relay the man left for a stand-up. He just watched it. He did. Oh, and then the back left fielder he was pl- didn't think that he was going to need to get it. He played the ball well. He was playing the ball deep. All he had to do was run up on it and catch it. He should have put forth a little more effort there. Pitch swung on right back to... The pitcher, and it is at first for an out, and that will do it for this half of the inning or this inning as a whole. Who yeah, knows? We don't. we don't know. And now we have a fraternity taking the outfield. A fraternity? Yeah, they, they just look like... Just a bunch of bros. All those guys just look like, you know, David they sa- look the same. David and- says, my team has that problem. Lots of home runs. <laughs> Is, oh, I just heard the I heard just heard the ump say nine to two, Ooh. and knowing that the team with the guy in the blue shorts just scored about four runs in that inning, I would assume that That's the team one. with the guy in the blue shorts is winning the, nine to two. The guy in the blue shorts behind second base, yeah. next to he, the yellow. He's playing shallow oh. center field. Pitch blopped right back to the pitcher over to first for the first out of this half inning. You know what? We're going to go a little deeper. Why did they into have yellow play cones play. out there? The yeah. yellow cones mean that is as close as the outfielders can play into the infield. The pitch swung on, lined, and snagged by the second baseman for the second out of the inning. Two pitches, two outs. This is going to be why a I, quick one. I don't understand why they can't just tell where the infield starts. Why do they have to have yellow cones to tell them they have to stay away? Number five steps up, swung on, popped up into center. Oh, now there's center oh, or oh, left no. knows what to do. Two seconds. And, and that is a costly error, folks, a costly error. Costly, costly indeed. The guy in the blue shorts in shallow center is not happy. He is not happy. He actually appears to be Uh, quite indifferent at the moment. Yes, the the two deep outfielders were laughing and having a great time with that and the blue shorts. First pitch right on the rubber for first strike. The count now, one and two, swung on, over to third, right over to first, and that is the out. You know what? And that is our first ever attempt at gorilla play by play. I had fun. It was fun. We're gonna have to go back and see how this actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually see how it sounded. We had a great but time. Had we had a great time doing it. And that's it, what the show is about. But who knows? Us having fun. Yeah, it, yeah. It's it's all about it's all about having a good time. We hope you guys had fun with that. We're going to do it again. Not.
Not sure when, but we'll uh, we'll pop in with a gorilla play by play every here and there. Uh, so again, the title of the episode was Keith Holtz and Olive. So Katie was going to show us how to make her chocolate bars. So I'm going to go home and make those tonight. And, I, and I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat them. You don't deserve any. <laughs> don't deserve any. We had, a pleasant, we had a very pleasant evening. We did. All right. This has been Coffee with Keith. And Katie at Public House Media. Thank you for joining us. And we will be back again on Thursday at 7.30 with the L behind us for more talk. Everybody have a great week, and we will see you later. Take care.